Good morning, YouTube. Hey guys, today we are out crappie fishing at Lake Palisade again. We're gonna be up in the Leadbetter area. I'm gonna be using two new baits uh, by, by Bonehead. It's gonna be the Bonfire Glow. So this is their new glow bait that they're, uh, they came out with. And let's see how that goes today. I got it in Stump Bug. I've got it in the uh, Slim Stick. Let's see what we can do. Uh, you can tell it's a beautiful day. It is freaking cold. It's the middle of March. We had 81 degree temperatures two days ago. It's 39 degrees right now. Guys, y'all hang in with me. We're gonna try, try to find some of these pre-spawn crappie. They're gonna be on the trees. They're feeding, they're getting big. Y'all stay tuned. Let's put some fish back here in this boat. All right, guys, so I've covered this before in some other videos, but I'm gonna try it one more time today because we do have a lot of new subscribers. And I appreciate you guys. Um, now's a perfect time. If you're not a subscriber, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, and then that bell for the notifications to let you know when we get new stuff. But kind of talk about a little bit of the, the spawn and what we're doing today. Guys, right now, these fish are in their pre-spawn phase. So what that means is they're moving up into the, the shallow areas to stage. When you look at the crappie and figure out how they breed, how they spawn, basically, uh, what they do is the females will get out here in this 10 to 12 foot water. They're gonna stage, they're gonna eat. They're gonna, it's a seafood diet. They're gonna eat everything they can see. They're not picky. Uh, then after they leave here, they'll go on Jenny Craig. They'll, they'll lose weight for the, for the summer. It just seems to happen every year. But these females are gonna be right here in this 10 to 15 foot uh, of water. Uh, now the other day I was catching them uh, four feet deep and they were up top. We'll see what happens here because we've had several days of cold weather. Typically the males seem to be smaller. I'm looking for the big females. That's what we're going to be doing out here in this deeper water is getting those staging females that are getting ready to go spawn. All they're doing is sitting here eating everything they can find. So that's a little background on spawn, what happens. Uh, this is right, right now it's mid-March. Guys, this could go into May here in Texas. Um, it, it's two, two and a half month period where they're gonna spawn. They're gonna spawn in different stages, different fish are gonna come in at different times. It's the way God makes it. Um, that way that, you know, if they all spawn right now, we had a freeze and it killed them, killed all the fry off, then yeah, guess what? We wouldn't have any crappie this year. So uh, mother of nature's way of, of, of taking care of the uh, environment, I guess you would say. So a lot of talking guys. Let's get to fishing, see what we can find. It's a beautiful day, it's foggy. Uh, it is 39 degrees and you know, look, I don't even know what our temperature is. All right, we're down to a 53 degree water temperature. So we've had 81, 82 degree days here recently and then the last two days, this will be the third, it's been a high of 60. Low of, I think this morning when I got the truck was 37 degrees. I'm ready for summer guys, but Let's go ahead and see what we can get. So I'm using my jig today. I'm gonna use this uh, hand-tied jig to start off with. And I've been asked about this quite a bit. Gotta give you my setup. It's gonna be hard to see from there, but uh, I, do have a, I do have a slip weight right here. It's a 1 8 ounce. I've got a swivel. So this is braid up here. I tied uh, mono on the swivel. I got a two foot leader to my jig. People say, what's the reason for that? Well, let me tell you why. Uh, especially right now, these fish are gonna hit anything and for some reason they love silver. I don't know what it is. They love the color of a weight. So I can't tell you how many times I've dropped down and the fish comes straight up to my weight and hits it. It feels just like a bite, but it's not. This little bug on me. But it's not, because there's no hook in there. They're sucking that weight in and they're avoiding the jig. So I got a, a silver head on this and sometimes I will put a one eighth, one eighth ounce jig head on here and fish with it, but it's the way we're going right now. Uh, also, by having two items on here, it allows me in live scope to see both items when I'm moving. So if you have, you know, eight, nine, ten fish in there that are all moving, especially a bunch of bait fish, it's a lot easier to see what you got. So let me get live scope set up. I did my update. 
hopefully my final update this morning so i may have to redo a few things let's get fishing guys Caught him right on the top, guys. <laughs> Caught her, rather. I don't know if I got an axe of Catherine or not. <sighs> Barely have her in there. Just caught her at the very end. She, she was about probably five feet up. Look at that. Man. Beautiful. All right, baby, go. All right, there you go. <clears throat> All right, guys, cut it on the fly. Come on. These guys are they're traveling right now. Oh, my thumb is so numb. A little small one, though. Hmm. You got him. All right. All right, guys. This is what we're looking for. Big old spawny females. If I can get her out. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Guys, you really can't tell male or female crappie by just looking at them. But this time of year, you kind of can. You take a look at that belly. I mean, that is full. That's about where their egg sac is. I mean, they may have been spawning. I mean, they may have been eating, getting ready for the spawn. It just may be a male, but I'm pretty sure that's a big old female. So whew, that was a fun catch. It wasn't even on brush. They're just moving right now. Mm-mm. You know, guys, I really like these bonehead baits, and the reason is because, I mean, this this one bait I've had, I've probably caught 25, 30 fish on it, and it's not even close to, to being destroyed. I pull the tail off a little bit to make it shorter, but, you know, normally you'll lose them up here in the jig head, and they just disintegrate. Man, these things are tough. I love them. Golly. There he is again. So what's happening right now is these fish are, they're hungry, but they're biting. They're doing a short strike is what I call it. Uh, they're, they're biting the very end of the jig. Uh, right here, you're going to see me uh, miss the fish again. It's the second time. I'm going to readjust the jig because he did pull it back when he uh, grabbed the tail and throw back out. I get him on the third time. Same fish. He just, or she rather, was just ready to sit there and eat. You got it this time. <laughs> Dang. Doing those short strikes, guys. I missed them twice. Got them for the third. So they are in a feeding mode right now. Come on. My thumb is so numb I can't even reach the fish. Golly, look at that, guys. Y'all see that ACC uh, crappie stick perform? <laughs> Man, I love it. 12 foot rod, ACC crappie sticks, bonehead bait. Man, they're going good. That one was on a tree. Most of them are roaming right now. So at this point, I did not record this, but I have switched over to the Bonfire Glow, the new one by Bonehead. Guys, this bait is amazing. Watch what it does. I've got more footage that I can put on one show. Uh, we probably caught another, I'd say, 35, 40 after I end this video. It's amazing. This stuff is great. Come on, girl. Oh, good night. 
Yeah, your buddies are watching her. I'd say I'd bring it over to you. Ow. Yeah, there's just tree little stumps all through here. Man, I caught him under the lip. Whew. All right, guys, here we go. These are getting bigger. Nice little female. Y'all want it to eat and not count as your tournament? All right. <laughs> Dang catfish. Oh, no. Okay. Caught me an alligator guard, guys. Not quite sure. I'm gonna do all oh, good. I got off. Woo! Glow baits work. <laughs> Woo! I was scared about what. First time I've ever done that before. Good fish. Mm -mm. Guys, they're, they're just roaming. There's not one on a tree. Wow. Whoo. Whoo, yeah, look at that, guys. I know I'm right in the sun. These bonfire glow, guys, they work great. Big old slabs. Man. Take a quick picture with her. God, I got him, didn't even know it. <sighs> Little bitty one, caught her on a sly. She's moving. <laughs> Guys, this is what I'm seeing out here. Uh, you know, last week when I was out here, there was some good fish floating around uh, on trees. I've caught one on tree today. Everything else has been moving. So I'm having to pitch out in front of it, kind of bring it in. Uh, it's warming up here, so I'm hoping, let me look at the water temperature. Water temperature is still 55.5. So I'm hoping that uh, they'll start slowing down, getting on some trees and be a little bit easier to catch. We'll see what happens. Oh, got him. Ah, come back here. Whew. All right, guys, once again, on the run. Whew. Just happy to catch him. Her. It's a big her. So, guys, what I'm having to do here is look at the live scope, and you'll just see them roaming in there. I'll show that one on video. I think I got it. But good fish, but they're out feeding right now. Guys, these bonfire glow baits are amazing, um, especially here in Texas in the kind of water we're fishing. Uh, if you have that kind of stained water, they are amazing. I was out there from 7 to roughly noon, and I think I caught pretty much around 50 fish. I can't even show them all to you guys. Here's just some clips above of some of the fish I caught, um, but i tell you what, I had a blast. The fish are really starting to get in there. They started settling in trees toward the end. But thanks for joining, guys. I appreciate it. <laughs> That's fun. All right, guys, we're going to call it a day. Good crappie. Got to love it. Good fishing. That spawn is fixing to happen, guys. Big shout out again to the ACC Crappie Sticks. Um, great ride. If you get a chance, go to crappiecove.com and uh, use the code ASLEEP10. That will get you 10% off 
of every one of these rods and everything in their store for, uh, for crappie fishing. So I appreciate you guys for being here. If you haven't done so already, hit that like button, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell for notification. Y'all uh, come back and we'll see you guys next week. Thanks so much for watching.